this was washed in by a storm. It's been ripped off the rocks. In South Africa, we call this red bait. It grows at that uh, where that wave is breaking now, at that sort of level. It sprays water. You can see this has got sponge growing on it. Uh, if you sponge, it's sponge. It's been underwater. Oops. So it splashes. Okay. Now let's see why it's called red bait. Look at all the different seed growth on it. So I've cut open a few samples so you can see. You have this inside it. There's this red flesh. Oh, let me bring some out. There we go. This is red flesh. Alright. And come out you come. There we go. Some of this red flesh. And it comes out of pods. Use pods like this. I've cut some open to show everyone. It's just an empty pod. So it looks like it's rock. But it's actually a living creature. But this won't survive. It's going to get washed up onto the rocks and will dry out or someone else is going to come along. Now let me show you how effective this is as bait. These little fish here have already smelt me opening it. So I'm going to drop this in here. I'll just put it here. Let me see that, eh? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some and go around this pond and feed starfish and feed sea anemones and feed sea urchins and see if I can get it all on camera let's first have a look at what's going on here alright just hold it here for a while the word's gonna get out Let's see how long it takes for word to get out, as they say. Oops! <laughs> Pulled it out of my hand. Okay, let me hold it lower. Come now. Let's hold this so everyone can see you guys. Come now. Come now. Well, that's a different type of fish. That's called a clipfish. There's a rockfish coming. These are gobites. These are gobites at the moment. And if these gobites are any bigger, they just bite your finger off to see what it tastes like. Come now. Alright, word's gonna get out. I know, I know you guys. All this splashing around, everyone comes. Okay, look at you all. Unfortunately, the glare is glare. I'm gonna have to put my uh, underwater camera thing on for getting the rest. Okay, so I'm just going to let this little piece of red bait go and let's see if we can follow it around the pond. Watch how fast this disappears around the pond. It's going to be... Someone's going to grab it and try to swim off with it, claiming it all for himself. Come on. Hey, who does that piece of red bait belong to? Oh, they're going under the rock. As a thermocline, as you can see, this that the water gets uh, there's two layers the surface water is warm, and the water underneath is cold. You don't get a very clear view on top of the reflection. Anyway, so we've all got an idea what this red bait's about. Let's see what we can do with it.